Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna to be having fun on Fiverr. Again, we're actually gonna be trying business card designs at the 10 or $15 price point on Fiverr. So I'm gonna order them today and then we're gonna wait a few days, see what comes back and then we'll do a big reveal about what designs I got back for my 10 or $15 on Fiverr. If you're new here, my name is Jen Jagger. I own a professional video production company called Plum Productions. And I also have this YouTube channel where I help you make better videos for yourself or your business, where I do content ideas, product reviews, and then sometimes I hop on Fiverr and have fun like we're going to today. Today. I love these Fiverr videos because I don't have to do all the work. I just kind of run my credit card and get magic over my email. So I love that. So what we're going to be doing today, like I said, is ordering business card designs. Let's take a look at my existing Plum Productions business card. This was designed by Minimum Impress of Boca Raton. They did an awesome job printing it. And what I like about it is on the reverse side, my full stacked logo is vertical on the business card, but the text on the front is horizontal. I like that a lot. So we've been really happy with these business cards. Um, kind of a cute design, but pretty simple and professional looking, but I can't wait to see what the Fiverr creators deliver to me. So I'm gonna hop on my computer. You're gonna see what I see as I select my Fiverr creator, and we're gonna order them up and see what happens. Okay, so here we are on the Fiverr website. I've already searched for business card design and these are the search results. So let's just see what catches my eye. First, I'm gonna set my budget. I'm gonna budget between 10 and $15. And here are our results. One thing I'll say that's a little confusing on Fiverr is that I search for business card design and yet other things come up like this is logo design and that's not what I'm looking for. So let me just see who I like. A lot of these are doing stationary as well and I really just want that business card. All right, let's see here. I will design outstanding business card design print ready. That sounds perfect. I want outstanding and I want print ready. So here's samples of his designs. I wouldn't say they're like blowing my mind with their innovation, but I say, let's give this guy a go. So he is delivering to me on a basic, for a basic price of $15, one concept, print ready, double-sided, three rounds of revisions and two day delivery. And then if I wanted to pay more, I would get two concepts and five revisions. And if I wanted to pay even more, seven revisions, two concepts, well, it's a lot of revisions. Let's just go basic. All right, so that was the first one. Let's see who else kind of catches my eye. This looks really interesting. Let's try this. Here's some of their previous designs. All right, this is double-sided, one day delivery. One day delivery is really good. Let's do it, $10. Let's see what $10 gets us. If I want an extra design concept, it would be another day and $25. Let's order this up. Okay, so we ordered our second business card design. Let's try to find that third one. really wish that Fiverr would just show me business cards instead of all these other designs. This one's interesting. Some interesting business cards here. Is there anything like completely different? Here is a creator that looks interesting. I actually just like his handle, Pitter Pitter. <laughs> it kind of makes me giggle. It's $15 double-sided. Um, these are some busy looking business cards, some of them, but I'm just going to go with it because that might be what the client asked for all that text. And some of these are actually really neat looking. Okay. So let's buy our third card from Pitter Pitter. 
All right, so that's it. We ordered our three business cards on Fiverr. For me, it's gonna be a few days, but for you, you get to see the results right now. Okay, we're back. For you, it's only been like a second, but for me, it's been a hot minute. I've been super busy. The weekend went by. I actually moved into a new house. So these designs have been waiting for me for a few days, and I promise you, I haven't looked at them. You're gonna get my first reaction to seeing these business card designs, and I'm excited about it because I love business cards. Whenever I go to a networking event and I collect people's business cards, I always take a good look at them, and maybe I shouldn't, but I have a lot of judgments, I think, about people's business cards. I love a well-designed card. I feel like it tells me a lot about that person in that company. So let's see how we did with our Fiverr business card designs. I've got Fiverr pulled up here. Let's go on over to orders. I think the first order I placed was this Setch Read design. So let's click on that. All right. So this is a mock-up of what my business card would look like. Um, he went with a rounded edge recommendation on the actual card, which I do like a lot. Um, but I would say design wise, it's it's really simple. Um, I don't know, I'm not crazy about this. I think it's nice. I think it's professional looking. Um, I like the way that he laid out my title and my contact information but I think it's not like the most exciting design. This design was $15 plus the $2 like Fiverr surcharge. So I would say this is definitely something I could have done myself for free. So I'm not a huge fan of this one. Let's see what the other guys did. All right, the next delivery is from Ruble5460. He pr uh, promises me that he will do an eye-catching and unique branding so i'm looking for something different here and here we go again i am not a fan of this i don't like the purple and pink together i think that the creative director title here on the front of the card is hard to read because the pink and purple are not contrasty enough there's just solid colors and a few lines there's really no creativity or design work here at all. This looks very template to me. And I don't even like the font that he used for my uh, contact information. I do like that he added these little icons here in the uh, on the front of the card. But other than that, I am I'm not a, I'm not a fan of this at all. I don't think those two colors go together anywhere but an Easter basket um, or for like a kid's toy. I don't I don't like anything about it. I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm kind of disappointed. I was hoping for more exciting business cards. Mm, all right. Okay, let's open up Pitter Pitter's design here. Um, if you remember, I really liked the name Pitter Pitter on Fiverr. I like this handle, so that's why I picked him. He says he will do a professional business card design for me. This one was, again, $15 plus Fiverr's charge, so $17 total. And in his sample, he's got kind of a cool looking business card. Let's see what they did for me. And again, this gentleman put a little bit of a pink highlight, or this woman, I'm sorry, I don't know if Pitter Pitter is a man or a woman, um, but they put a little pink highlight again on my card that, I don't know what's with the pink. I'm not, I love pink, but I just don't like it with the purple. And at least there's a hair more design. There's kind of this curve effect uh, on the front and back. Let's see what other images they delivered. So this is the back of the card. It's got a gradient, which it's got a lot of gradients. This line is gradiated as well which is interesting because I provided my flat logo. I have two versions of my logo. I have this like full color gradiated one and then I have a flat version. And lately I've been using the flat version because I feel like it's a little cleaner and more modern. And this guy actually added gradient into the design even though I provided a flat logo. This font that he chose, I do, I do like, but the weight of the font on every line is perfectly even. So even my title, while it's scaled bigger, it's not bolder. Uh, it's nothing's italicized. I don't, 
Yeah, you guys, I'm not crazy about any of these. So let me go back and look again and try to pick a winner here. Although I just feel like in all of these cases, the samples that they showed on their fiber listing were so much more interesting than what I got. And I do have to say it's kind of disappointing. So for this first one, I do like that there are rounded edges. Um, I do like that it's very clean looking and professional. I like that in the font, they used a different color for my name, you can see here, and it seems to be a different weight and scaled up. So those things I liked a lot about it. Let me look to the next one. This was the $10 order. This one has the pink color, which I really, I don't like. I don't like it, I don't like the font. And then let's go back and look at that third one one more time. This one I feel like had a little bit more of an idea to it, although I'm suspecting that it's probably a template. And again, they didn't do different weights for the fonts. This one was $15. Uh, I'd say if I had to pick between the three, my preference would be between either this one or the first one. And I don't know who, I don't know. I don't know who to award the winner here because I'm not wowed by any of these. Maybe I'll do another video where I go to a higher price point and try to find something like really more custom and interesting. Um, yeah, this was kind of a bust. So if you're looking for business cards on a budget, I think this is probably a step up from a site where you just, it's a printing site where you actually order the prints um, from whatever website and then they you know actually mail you a physical business card and you kind of design it yourself using a template i'd say these are probably half a step above that but but honestly business cards to me are like something that if you if you network in person the way i do they're important and they say a lot about you and your business so so it's definitely not the kind of thing you want to skimp on. And it doesn't mean you have to have a super complicated card design. I actually do like simple, but there's a fine line between simple and templated and not a lot of thought and simple and elegant and well-designed so that it's like simply beautiful. Do you know what I mean? And, and I don't think any of these are really hitting the mark. So let me know, do you want to see a video where I invest a little more money in maybe a higher end business card design? And tell me which one you guys liked the best because I can't, I can't say. I definitely don't think that second one was my cup of tea at all. Between the first and the third, I think each one of them had a little bit of merits, but neither one of them really like floated my boat. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you thought this video was fun. I still had fun doing it. Um, so I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.